One night at dinner, my eight-year-old son said, Mama, every single part of you is fancy, except for your pits. <laughs> and I thought, isn't that the awful truth? <laughs> Becoming a mother is a very humbling experience. Whether you ask for it or not, you are presented the awful truth on a daily basis. For example, if I was curious as to how my butt looked lately, I can just take a cue from my children who point and laugh hysterically when they catch me emerging from the shower. <laughs> Many new moms do not know what lies ahead. They have grand plans and they have answers already. And I suppose I did too when I was pregnant for the first time. Some of the questions will be easy. Like when your five-year-old daughter asks, can I go to a Katy Perry concert? Um, no. <laughs> But the awful truth is you simply cannot be prepared for some questions. Like when your son asks, instead of where do babies come from, or even how are babies made, can you control whether or not you have another baby? <laughs> or the most difficult one I have faced yet from my four-year-old, Mama, is everything real? <laughs> Here's another thing new moms may not yet realize sometimes, and it is a rare occasion. You will find yourself at home and all your children are not. <laughs> Out of the endless possibilities of this coveted child-free time, complete a project without interruption, take a nap, enjoy some afternoon delight with your husband. The awful truth is the activity you will most likely choose is to gather up all your children's toys and artwork and throw them away <laughs> without running the risk of getting caught red-handed. <laughs> Other times, you learn the awful truth through unexpected experience. For instance, when you find out the door handle of the extra big public bathroom stall, you know, the one with the changing table in it, is just out of reach from your seated position on the toilet. <laughs> and when you tell your toddler not to open the door because mama would like privacy when it's her turn to use the potty and she nods as if she totally understands you and knows the plan, she does not. <laughs> But I think the awful truth is what you hear coming out of both your mouth or your child's. For example, okay, we're ready to go. Is everybody wearing underpants? <laughs> or when my son, then three years old, and after a week or so of my husband emphasizing the proper name of body parts, said to me again, emerging from the shower, Mama, you have a big fuzzy penis. <laughs> I should clarify that's not the truth. <laughs> that's false. <laughs> you may have made some promises to yourself as a new mother, promises of what you will never do or never say, but there will come a time when you are in the checkout line faced with the awful truth possibility. Even though you have promised to never bribe your child in the store, you find yourself thinking, oh, please don't tell this Target cashier mama has a big fuzzy penis. <laughs> but you find yourself instead saying out loud, hey, sweetie, look at these. These are Mentos. Do you want to eat them? <laughs> Aside from all of that, the awful truth, no, the honest truth, is when I think about how much I love my children, I kind of have trouble breathing. And I don't ever want that feeling to go away. But if a new mom were ever to ask, so what is the truth? What is the awful truth of all this motherhood? I would say, no matter what you do, no matter how hard you try, your children will still catch you emerging from the shower. 